What is up guys at RLB Recon, thank you for tuning in to episode 2 of Epic Mail Mondays. If you guys missed episode 1, there will be an annotation on the screen so you guys can just go and click it and it will take you to episode 1. So guys, to kick off this commentary, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit more facts about Black Ops 2. I know I did say in episode 1 I will only give one fact, but guys, I've got so many, like, so much exciting news to tell you guys, I just can't keep it in. So guys, let me get started with the storyline, okay? To be honest, I didn't really like Black Ops um, the first, their storyline, it weren't too good to be honest. But apparently there's going to be two storylines this time. There's going to be one which will be set in the Cold War in the 1980s. And then there's going to be another one which will be in 2025. And that's the Cold War again. And that's where I guess all the futuristic weapons will be put in and all that kind of stuff. Next guys, zombies are back 100%. If you didn't know zombies, if like, well if you haven't heard that the zombies will be back well you have now they're definitely back in episode one i told you guys there will be a playable zombie map which is nuketown and there's going to be other maps like moon maybe like a replica kind of thing maybe like a load better obviously though i'm not sure if that will come in a map pack though or something but yeah that's some of the maps i know so far but i will be keep i will keep on giving you guys more information on that now i want to talk about stuff that people would probably want and it's definitely what i want so guys, as you guys will know that the kill streaks in Black Ops 1 weren't as good as Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, I guess they're two different companies though, like Treyarch and Infinity. But Treyarch apparently are going to do a kill streak that will kind of be like a Moab. I'm not sure if that is a rumor. I will. Prob I'm going to say it's going. I'm going to say it's a rumor for now actually, because it's not official or nothing. But if they could do like a Moab kind of thing. Or just something that will kill the whole team, but it won't end the game. That like, it will knock up your KD, it will knock up your kills, you know, that would be kind of awesome as well. Alright guys, so on the multiplayer, there is going to be a new game, game mode, and it will be like Spec Ops for Modern Warfare, um, from Modern Warfare 3. Except this is going to be called Strike Force Operations. I'm guessing it's going to be exactly the same or similar to the one from, like, well, yeah, what I just said, Spec Ops from Modern Warfare 3. But I'm not too sure on that. But... Yeah, that's what I've heard so far. And again, there's going to be combat training, okay? Everyone used to like combat training just to mess around, I guess. It was pretty fun, and it's another chance you get to try out the kill streaks as well. So those are quite awesome features, to be honest. All right, guys, now you get people moaning about, like, saying how unrealistic Black Ops 2 will be about the futuristic guns. But guys, futuristic guns will be an option. You will be allowed to use modern, like, modern guns as well, like Vitar, MP7, UMP, and stuff like that from Modern Warfare 3, I guess. So, guys, that's all I know so far, and I hope you enjoyed this, this episode of Epic Mail Mondays. Don't forget to leave a, a rating down below, preferably a like. Don't forget favorite, subscribe to RLB, subscribe to my channel, and guys, I'll hope to see you in episode 3. Adios, amigos.